my mother used to say every time my father worked overtime, one of the kids would get sick. <laughs> so the two dollars he'd make in overtime would go to the doctor. <laughs> so in that respect, they didn't get ahead, is what I, really what you're saying, you know. Um, now you, we never starved. You know, my father worked at, at um, DuPont. So there was a steady income. Um, you were limited, you know, you didn't have a lot of fresh vegetables because we didn't have a garden. Some of the Polish families across the street had gardens. We had grapevines. Uh, and we, we had, I mean, I have grapes and you could have wine. And there were times when we bottled root beer. <laughs> Yeah, they open. Or sometimes they pop too. <laughs> you have root beer all over the basement. But um, it, as I said, we never lacked for food. But your Christmas stocking, you'd get a couple nuts and an apple, maybe. You, know, you didn't get all the things you're getting these days and whatever. And I said, there wasn't, you know. In the, in the summer, because the vegetable trucks would come around, you would, you know, you would have fresher, fresher vegetables at that time. You had tr trucks that came around with, with vegetables, as you had trucks that came around with your, with your uh, goodies, you know, your ice cream in the summertime or those kinds of things. Uh, or you had Mr. Mr. Jensen, or somebody before Mr. Jensen came around, the fish market, you know, you get your fish. Definitely through Lent they came all the time. You always had to have fish for Friday. It's like, it's like the ice cream people now. The ice cream truck now come and only they ring a bell. At that time you just knew, you know, oh, here comes the fish man. Get your money and go out. Now I want. This is what I want. Oh, as I said, that job. Because the other things, you know, for us, as I said, my mother generally did her shopping. We'd have to go to South, we'd go to South River. I don't know what store now she went to. I know in Cerebral we used to go to the A&P, which was down near the uh, Borough Hall. But um, and she would go, to, we'd come back with a couple of bags, so then we'd have to meet her to help her carry the bags home. But my assumption at that time, it was like sugar and flour and uh, canned goods. You know. a, big, a big holiday meal for me would have been a pot roast of, you know, pot roast of beef with um, uh, potatoes cut up with it, you know, and the potatoes put in with it, and carrots in with it, or the dried lima beans. It's a long time before I ever tasted a fresh lima bean, because <laughs> that was what you had. You know. My father had a hunting dog. You know, we had beagles. We had beagles, but they were outside dogs. You know. My house did not have a pet. I think some of the other people may have had, but, no, but no. ours. You, you didn't. You didn't touch those those dogs. They were hunting dogs. My father would go hunting, rabbit hunting only. They went out, you know, he would put on his clothes and walk out with his gun, you know, come back, would go down the basement and they'd have to, my mother would have to help him skin the rabbit. 